the Dwarven High Council, deep within the mountain fortress. It's no use! All of our blind tasting proof, his liquor is superior! Damn it! How can this be? We're using the same production method. Uh, how could his be better? No! I can't take it anymore. Uh, I'd rather die than drink some standard alcohol. Uh, uh, should we apologize and beg the brewmaster to come back? <laughs> Don't call the sick pervert by that title. Yes, I may have overreacted a bit by banishing him for life, but I'm not apologizing. A dwarf never apologizes. Ever. Uh, so, uh, where did that weirdo go after we kick him out of the mountain? He bought land way down south near the Sunkiss coast. He was mumbling about finally finding the ideal terrier for making his complex opulent reds. I was once bitter, living a life in exile, ostracized from my mountain home. But now I realize my exposure was a blessing in disguise. Outside a dwarf world of rock and stone, I finally see the truth. A good liquor is born under the open sky. It is born out of the soil, the sun, the rain. It is born out of patient respect. How's the harvest? And love. The grapes are looking beautiful. They're just like you, my dear. <laughs> the new Isekai Novo. I was banished from my dwarf society for marrying an orc girl. So I recruited her warband sister and built a legendary vine your harem. And now, my brandy is so good dwarf king is pleading for me to come back. But it's too late. I'm already living my best life. 